Today we're visiting a farm in Ayutthaya. It's an organic farm and we're also here with MBT, the, the TV station in, in Thailand. And they're filming a, a documentary and um, showing the kids the importance of um, growing their own crops and, and raising, raising animals. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy watching this. We're at Tom's farm today and we're filming alongside Thai TV station NBT. They're here producing a program to teach kids that growing your own food and, and raising animals can be fun. The farm itself is owned by some good friends of ours and it's been set up to follow the King's guidelines, promoting a simple life and self-sufficiency for, for poorer Thai people. They have ducks and fish as well as growing rice, mushrooms, bananas, papaya, mango, and, and green leafy vegetables. I'm not sure who's more scared, the, the ducks or the kids. Looks like it's a standoff. Schools come on excursions to the farm, and they also encourage other farmers to visit and, and increase their knowledge. Here Gran's teaching some cooking fundamentals, separating the white from the yolk. Sugar has been mixed with the yolks to sweeten, and now it's being poured into a traditionally wrapped banana leaf. We're all good to start making foy hong. The mixture is released into boiled sweetened water in a circular pattern just to, to make the thin strands of the dessert. It's extremely important that these techniques are passed on from one generation to the next to make sure the skills aren't lost to the ages. Even the little guy, who looks more inclined to eating than cooking, is giving it a crack. It only takes a few short minutes of cooking. Then a bamboo stick is used to gather all the strands together. Drain slightly and then placed on a plate to cool. My sound girl is in close to the action, but it looks like it's more fun than work. These poor kids are now being forced to eat this dessert. It's such a hard life growing up in Thailand. We'll head out and have a look at the, the rice fields and, and the fish pond. The rice fields are actually rented to local farmers at, at a very reduced rate. You can tell it's local rice from the slightly yellow colour. There's no industrial processing being done. And we have no complaints from Tar. She's enjoying the rice. And of course, the barbecue pork. They are extremely proud of the quality of the mushrooms produced in this shed, and rightly so, they're doing a fantastic job. We'll be picking some mushrooms later on today for the TV cameras. The farm manager will be shredding each of the, the mushrooms and frying them in a sweet, sticky syrup. They end up tasting more like meat than mushroom. It's so delicious. The farm is educational, but it also has to be fun. And the signs are done with that in mind. The farm's ethos is organic farming, self-sufficiency and sustainability. And that covers everything from the worms that they use to make fertiliser, even to the grasses that they plant around the pond to stop soil erosion. And they encourage all farmers across Thailand 
to adopt these simple principles. The farm needs to be self-sustaining, so they also earn a modest income from the sale of the fertiliser. The wastewater from the worm tanks is also collected, bottled, either sold or used directly on the property. Nothing is wasted. Now, the real reason I'm here. I love Thai food and Thais love to eat all day. So, this is what I'm going to be doing, snacking most of the day. Here we have Pook, the, the owner of the farm, her brother, the kids and Lucy, Thais' colleague from work. Pook wanted me to get her on camera, but I'm not sure posing with raw pork is the best way to go. Uh, I found what I was looking for, the snack table. Tyres loves sweet desserts, sweet snacks, and these are no exception. Even the pineapple is sugary sweet. I finished teaching you about the farm. Uh, now it's just time know. to have some fun.
จะไม่กินกับมาซูมฟาร์มอันนี้เป็นเห็ดอะไรคะอันนี้เป็นเห็ดนางฟ้าค่ะเป็นเห็ดนางฟ้าปูนางฟ้าเห็ดตะปูนางฟ้าค่ะเป็นเห็ดปูฐานปูฐานสปูฐานอันนี้มาเป็นพันปูฐานใช่ไหมคะใช่ค่ะอันนี้คือพร้อมเก็บแล้วนะคะอันนี้เป็นพันที่เราพร้อมเก็บ This is already to pick up beautiful เก็บเลยไหมโอเคพี่แจ๊คพี่จะเก็บได้ยังเวลาก่อนโอเคพี่จะเด็ดเห็ดโอเคเก็บได้ครับวันนี้ลูกวันนี้แม่วันนี้เขาเขาดอกใหญ่ๆเลยน้องวันนี้แม่วันนี้ย่าวันนี้มาใหญ่แล้วเดี๋ยวนี่นี่ยุ่งตายแล้วนะแม่ลองลองดูว่าลองให้กัดเก็บดูว่าเก็บได้ยังไงค่ะอ่ะมาไปไหนล่ะเชนิโคนะคะจะดื่มพุชโอเคเ
I don't know where that went. Adala, 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 Adala. We'll just take a stroll around the rest of the farm and see if there's anything that we've missed. There's only one person living here at the moment and that's the, the farm manager. He stays here on a permanent basis. He's also Book's brother. These ponds are used to grow prawns. They also have plans to operate a, uh, a homestay, like holiday accommodation here. But I think uh, it, it's just a dream at the moment. I don't think they have any, any uh, concrete plans set in place to make that a reality. So for now, we'll keep using it as a great party crash pad. As with all times, their, their love and respect for the king is evident in everything that they do. The house was built at a cost of about 400,000 baht, but they made sure that quality materials were used in its construction. typical Thai kitchen. And they also have a, a separate area for food prep. And we love it here, we, we can't wait to come back again soon. But next time it'll be without the TV cameras.